Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, Austin here, and today I'm just going to be showing you guys my Minecraft world and the city that I have built in it. I find it pretty cool, and hopefully you guys will too. So, before we get with the tour, I want to start off with just my skin. Um, it is the University of Wisconsin basketball jersey, because Badgers are my favorite sports team all around. <laughs> uh, University of Wisconsin, that is Madison. And number 12 is the number that I always like to be when I play basketball for a team or anything like that. So, wow, might as I thought that I might as well just put that in my skin, because why not? And yeah, it's pretty rough skin, but I, I don't think it's that bad. It's pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> kind of, not too detailed, but not too bad either. So, let's go. <clears throat> Starting off, we have my house right here. And over here, we have the kitchen which is with cakes, furnaces, crafting table, chest, just with some, well, kind of some food in it. Oh, and before I uh, talk about anything else, yes, this is a Too Many Items mod, but um, 90, about 95% of everything in this world is legit, so it's not like I just spawned everything in. Stuff that isn't legit is probably just some small stuff like, oh, well, I went all the way out to the other side of the map to get some, to get something, but I came back one short, so I don't want to go all the way back out there, and so I'll just spawn one in. Anyway, so this is my other kind of entranceway. It's not necessarily the living room, considering the fact that there's really nothing besides four large chests filled with kind of the most popular items, such as cobblestone, dirt, wood, and falling materials, I should say. And this is my house actually was originally a small pueblo, like Chimney Swift 11 uh, style, because Chimney Swift 11, along with the Syndicate Project, are my two favorite Minecraft people. And basically those two... Um, I don't know, they kind of have some ins inspiration behind my builds and stuff. So, like, I decided to ex expand my small Pueblo that was probably half the size of this room right here and turn it into a more luxurious house, kind of like how Syndicate is with his house. So, let us go upstairs. Oh, hello, doggy. How you doing? Yeah. Looks like he's... Hmm, might be hurt because his tail's down. In case you guys didn't know that, if your dog's tail is down... That means they're kind of hurt. I figured that out when a skeleton continuously attacked my dog and his tail continuously went down. So, can I feed you bread? No. <laughs> so anyway, right here is kind of my upstairs, um, not my room, just upstairs. It's got three wooden couches. Uh, over here I got miscellaneous items and my nether stuff, including like ender pearls and eyes of ender, all that fun stuff. And over here is my room. Got a little picture of two guys fighting it out right there. I don't know what that's supposed to be exactly. You got some dyes and wool. All the stuff I need for floors and stuff. And then I got my bed and along with a bookshelf and a lamp for design. So that goes along well. I always like using pressure plates for doors. It just makes stuff easier. And where'd my dog go? Oh, hey doggy. Here, come along with me. Come on, let's go. And he's like, no, I'm gonna hop on the chest. And downstairs... I changed the color of the junk of the regular wood to jungle wood just because I had a lot of extra jungle wood, so why not use it? Down here, what are you doing? Down here is my potions room. Uh, I actually originally had another potions uh, brewing area above the surface, like that way, but I decided to make another one down here because it only contained one brewer, and I needed to make more potions at once. As you can see here, I have a good amount of potions. Uh, crafting table, endless water supply, lights that work, obviously. And then just some supplies. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this room. It's probably my most recent build. My second most recent build is one that's over here. Which I really like this build. It was kind of complicated to make. But it was, I think in my opinion it was worth it. So, sort of underwater passageway. That leads to a little open aquarium. That leads to the bay, kind of to my village. And as you can see, the little squidlings are being squiddish along the water just swimming around you know enjoying life and I wish I wish that Minecraft included more aqua creatures so that like I can just look at more than just squids <laughs> I know that I can get mo creatures but I don't think I can actually because I don't think they've updated it since 1.1 and this is 1.2.5 so yeah that kinda sucks but I enjoyed mo creatures because I had it because I first got mo creatures when um I got into Minecraft because of Syndicate and then I found Chimney Swift 11 shortly after, because I was looking for some cool builds and stuff. And yeah, so those two are my favorite Minecraft people to this date. So that's pretty much my house. 
Did I forget to show anything? Nope. Alright. Now, let us hither over her. Well, over here, I have one chicken, which I had like five before, and I have no idea where they went. <laughs> so, I don't know what happened to them. I got my sheep, both red and white, for wool, because go University of Wisconsin. Got my cows over her, and my pigs back there. And over here, I have my little family of cats. This is the first cat I had. I haven't really named any of them. <laughs> but this is the first one I had, and then one of these two are the other ones I had. And my dog's like, MOVE IT! <laughs> But I had one of these, then I found out one of these two cats in the jungle by him, and then I made it one of these, him, along with one of these two, and produced a baby kitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's sit you guys down. Sit. Sit. You too, doggy, you're gonna have to sit. Alright. Now, over here we have kind of my melon and my pumpkin farm. Uh, something too special. There's no, like... Uh, sticky pistons involved or anything. Uh, so I decided, oh, I'm, one second, let me eat some bread. So yeah, no sticky pistons involved or anything, just kind of a basic, you know, you go through, you chop them down. I don't want to chop them down right now because, I don't know, just a waste. And then down here is my weed farm, and basically it is not done growing. Ah, oh, darn it. It's not done growing because I did this earlier, but basically, I'll show you what happens. Let me turn the lights off. Eh? 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 Yeah. So, I was kind of a fail considering that wasn't even close to being done growing. But basically, um, in case you guys didn't- Ah! Fudge. <laughs> in case you guys didn't know, in Minecraft, plants cannot survive without light, despite the fact that they do- will, that they, if, Even if they do have water next to them. What am I doing? I'm wasting seeds. So, they, they won't spawn. Uh, what? I mean, they won't grow because they don't have the light to sustain them. And actually, I'm going to replant these real quick, so pardon me. So I figured this trick out for from one of Syndicate's videos, and I was like, Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm going to try this. And I did. It took a while, though, because I kind of had to cut into, I think it was like this block, and go an entire redstone layer above this, above this area. But I think it's worth it. It's a lot more simple, <laughs> except for the fact that I just kind of messed it up. So I'm going to replant all this. And I'll get this little patch later. I don't want to bother with it right now because that weighs video time. Yay. Alright, go upstairs. And it might be getting dark, so I might need to sleep. I'll just put them right there for now. Alright, so perfect time so I can show you my treehouse. <coughs> ah. So... My treehouse, um, it's kind of a really basic treehouse. All I really have here is one little floor. Oops, sorry about that. Just knocked my mic. <laughs> so all I really have is this, well, not one little floor, but this is my little floor. Um, crafting table, torch, just for some lighting. But then up here, I have my little bedroom area, and I've used this before when I was building that to run away from guys like that. So that they don't uh, blow me up and I die, so I can just run up here. And it's pretty cool, so as I'm sleeping, I'm just going to get that. And are they over there? Mm, I'm not going to bother with them. Takes time off the video. And then this little uh, area down here, a little cool passage where I like to do. And, oh yeah, my cat will scare them off, so it's okay. Vines! Yay! I like to incorporate new updates and like what they come with throughout my village. Even though my, the treehouse was one of the first builds I ever had. So let us continue on to the more metropolitan area. I have a couple of these lamps, like, throughout the village, so they're nothing super important. Got a boat right there, for adventures over there. Trash can, Chimney Swift 11 did that one of his Minecraft Files videos. Um, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, it's an easy way, so, I'm like, why do it? I have, uh, I have, like, three of these guys, uh, running around, the iron golems. And, yeah, I also, I also have a couple of villagers just running around, too, and <laughs> looking at me, so, like, move. So, over here, we have the smelting and enchanting room. Well, basically, I made this, or my brother actually made this. I, it was originally cobblestone, but he decided to make it a Wisconsin pattern, and I like it. It's pretty cool. So, I have all my materials in here that I need for making, like, I don't know, armor, weapons, etc. And over here I have TNT, extra bows, maps. I don't know, it's like a miscellaneous chest. I got my furnaces, and then up here I have, ah, missed the stairs, will I? Over here I have my enchanting room. 
And it's kind of dull, just basically a big open space with enchanting rooms, with enchanting bookshelves. And I know that I can get um, higher chance, because I think the highest I can get on this is a 35. But I know that I can get higher if I completely fill this row along with um, this row, and then like just have changing the entrance from like the staircase over there to like a ladder just that goes straight up from the bottom room. I think that'd look pretty cool. But it'd kind of be like in the way. It'd just be like walking ladder. So yeah. Hmm. What's next? I just have a little abandoned mine right there. And I'm sure you, all you guys know what an abandoned mine is. But I'm not because I'm not going to bother like going all the way down there. Because it's a couple staircases down. So let's move on to the bakery. Over here we have three guys. So at least two must have had a baby or something. Because... Oh, two! Oh, oh my god. Okay. Because I originally had two in here, but apparently they... I don't know. Get it down. So I got my cakes over there. I have some, like, sugar and wheat over there. Furnaces. And p tourists can buy cake. And all that fun stuff. Over here, I have the Cobblestone Theater. CT. So I bought my tickets from this guy, who seems to love to be... St He's always standing on this little chest area. I don't know. I don't know why. He's, like, protective over his tickets. He's like, no. I'm gonna see the Hunger Games. It's, I've never, I saw that movie, actually. It's a good movie. I haven't really read any of the books, although I kind of want to pick up on the series. But, uh, besides that, that's off topic. So, over here we got our concessions. And then over here, we have our movie theater. And the lights are off, and I know this lighting does look weird. I usually play on moody, just because it looks more realistic, and not everything's 100% bright all the time when it's middle of the night. And it looks, it looks better on Moody, but just for the sake of you guys being able to see everything, I decided to keep it on Bright for this little tour. So yeah, the light works. So like, movie's over, turn the lights on. Movie's starting, turn the lights off. We'll see what I offer now, actually. So yeah, that's the Cobblestone Theater. Here's uh, Iron Gollum, how you doing? Over here we have an icy place, Austin's Icy. And the reason why I named it after myself, basically, is because Icy's are probably my favorite favorite drink like if I had a choice between uh, like a 24 ounce icy or like a triple scoop ice cream cone I'd probably take a 24 ounce icy because icy's are like one of my favorites like just treats of all time so yeah I decided why not you know just why not incorporate one for fun and here's our little manager running the cash register and stuff got your bottles to fill up your icy's with although we're seem, seems to be a little short but anyway let us continue Ah, uh, over here we have the brewery. This is my this was my original brewery spot, but as you notice, it's pretty small and there's only one small little brewer brewery area. And I took about like all the potions I had out of here and just crafted a crap load downstairs in my room. So I was like, hmm, you know, cause should I just get rid of this? And I was, but then I thought, well, then it kind of gets rid of the tourist or like village aspect that I want that Chimney Swift Eleven has in his videos. Because throughout this village, I've tried to um, incorporate both Chimney Swift 11's village, or village-like ideas, and the Syndicate Project, which is basically making a luxurious life for yourself in Minecraft. Over here, we just got a little, you know, public area. Just sit down, rest, jump on the lily pads. I should probably make that more of a pattern or something. I don't know, I'll do that later. And then over here... Whoa, he just opened the door. We have... The biggest building I have ever built in Minecraft. We have the tower. And I haven't actually really done anything with this tower. All I really have completed is this lobby. Along with... Like seven stories of empty rooms. And <laughs> this pattern is just all like... Well, one room was like five torches. One room was like 20 torches. Just the point is I want to keep mobs spawning out of them. So if I'm bored in Minecraft at a later date I can just do some with them. I don't really want to do a hotel, as you get a good view of the village. I don't really want to do a hotel, because that's kind of, you know, not original. Maybe an office building, but really, what am I going to... How am I supposed to make an office building? <laughs> I don't know, I could, like, put some random blocks in the middle and s isolate them from society. <laughs> I don't know. And is it getting dark? Nah. Oh, looks like all the iron golems are going to chill out here. Over here, I have my nether portal. Um... I swear, I, I had the luckiest spawn spot in Minecraft, because as soon as I spawn in the nether, I come next to, um, a, what's it called, a fortress with, and that leads directly to, um, a fortress that leads directly to, what's it called, a blaze, a blaze spawner, and yeah, 
Plus the fact that there was an abandoned mine right under me. So as soon as I just decided to make a staircase that goes down, I found an abandoned mine. And I was like, oh, that's easy. But what am I doing? I'm not done. I got to go this way. Jump. Over here, we just have my cobblestone mine. And this, this was originally just, this wasn't like, um, this was originally all filled up with like dirt and cobblestone and all that. But now I just, I mine the crap out of this thing. That's why I have so much spare cobblestone in my chest. So let us go up. Ah, dirt. <coughs> I kind of don't like it how it's just kind of like you got building, 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 cobblestone mine. But it'll have to do for now until I maybe make a new one. Oh, I just put a giant... Like, the first thing I ever put in this um, village was the giant mushroom just because I was like, well, if I go adventuring out and I don't have a map because at that point I, haven't found, I didn't find any iron or redstone to make a compass and then I didn't find any reeds to make a paper, which, although I have a pretty big reed farm over there by the shore. So I was like, all right, well, when I adventure out, I can just go up and I can just look at this big mushroom and know that I'm home. So that's what I did. And then over here we have the hillside grill out, which... <laughs> The name is just very unoriginal because it's in the hillside and it's a grill out. But the reason why is because I saw this hill. This is all covered with dirt at one point, by the way. And I was like, hmm, I'm kind of bored. Just hop on Minecraft. What should I do? So I decided just to build this thing. And I, I incorporated a new feature with the, um, what are they called? The stairs, yeah, the upside down stairs. And I turned it to an archway. And I think it looks pretty good. So you got your seats. And then your grills, crafting tables to make your food. And yeah. But last but not least, we have the Badger Center. And this is by far my most favorite build in Minecraft that I've ever done. In case you guys didn't see it, it's a basketball court. <laughs> um, I think it's pretty awesome in my opinion. You got your stands, your stands, your stands. You got the bench scores table then another bench and I mean if I ever make this a server at some point then I could just I could just I don't know play with somebody <laughs> so I think it works yeah Oh, I missed that time let's go this way four court layup coast to coast yeah made it yay okay mm -hmm. so it's very lighted <laughs> although sometimes mobs still find the urge to spawn in here and I, have, I honestly have no idea how maybe it's one of these corners that I haven't lit or something but yeah it's my favorite build of all time uh, it just it took me forever it took all the stone is legit I swear nothing in this well okay like one okay probably like two or three pieces of this glowstone isn't legit that I just spawned in because I was short but everything else is legit even that nether uh, rack I think it's called no it's not nether rack that's another brick but anyway that's legit because I told you there's a fortress right next to my nether portal. So yeah, it's my favorite build. And it doesn't really have a proper entrance. And I actually wanted to m add some more bleachers right here, but that cuts into the court. And then the brewery is right behind it. And that's why I kind of considered trying to get rid of the brewery. But then again, it's just like, mm, that gets rid of the village aspect. So I decided to keep it there for now. But my village is far from complete. I'm really just getting started since I've only had this since late February because that's when I got my new PC for my birthday and oh yeah my watchtower I'm missing that so I'll show you guys my watchtower but actually before I do that I just remember this too this is my little dock area uh, I got my dock my boat that's somewhat for some odd reason off the uh, entrance for so adventures that goes that way and then over here whoops oh by the way <laughs> I've explored the majority of this world or this map at least I haven't found a mushroom biome and I really want to but I found all kinds, all kinds of biomes. The jungle biome is like that way. I, I'm pointing off the map. I'm pointing like in the map direction, not like so. Like by the desert area right there. If you go more, even more north, that's the um, way. I haven't explored any of this area uh, that I'm pointing to. The um, big patch in the map, just because I really haven't. Although I went like on a two-hour expedition to try and find my dog, a companion, but I didn't find anything. So anyway, over here we have boats, fishing rods, the fish, and the dock, and all that, and I find it pretty useful. And my mobs are spawning, so I'm actually... My mobs, what? Yes, I own all the mobs in this game. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sleep real quick, and then I'll... Well, actually, no, I'll show you guys the watchtower. The watchtower. Now, this is probably the second build I've ever done next to my house. Because 
I was when I first got Minecraft. I was like, oh, Jimmy Swift 11 is the best person ever. Yeah. <laughs> um. So this is, building was inspired by him because he did something like this. Except mine's. Um. I think mine's a little bigger. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I think mine. Honestly, mine's. A little, I think mine's better because it has more room where you can actually stand. While his is like half of this is isolated because it's cut off by the stairs. And I incorporated the pressure plate so I could just get a good view over the entire village. And, oh, wow, I have five of these guys? Oh, you can see a brutally murdered spider over there. Uh, I didn't know I had five of these guys. Can they, can they mate? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that would be interesting if they could, though. Have, like, giant. You'd have Iron Gallon babies the size of your character. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I think this is pretty much everything. So, you got Tower, Badger Center, Brewery, Giant Mushroom, Park Area, Cobblestone Mine, Portal. Austin's IC, Cobblestone Theater, The Dock, The Bakery, Smithing and Enchanting, My House, The Animal Farms, The Melon Farms, The Tree House, the, the Portal, what? The Trash Can, and The Reed Farms, but that's not very original. That's uh, something almost everybody has. So, mods. So, no, 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 did I turn rain on? No, turn rain off. Turn rain off! Yeah, there we go. We. So, I always like doing this sometimes for to see how a new build looks like. And there's a zombie banging on the door over there. But I always do this is check out how the build looks. And I always like doing this because it just gets a really cool angle. Like, I just sometimes I wish that, like, I had bigger buildings. Because it'd be so cool if you're just, like, from the, like, the side view over here. And you just see a whole bunch of tall buildings just standing up like you're going into Chicago or something. I don't know. Every, every time I come in from this way, from, like, flying or something just for fun, it feels like I'm going to Chicago. Because whenever I drive to Chicago, or, yeah, whenever I drive. No, whenever we go to Chicago for, like, a family vacation or something. Or a family trip. We always see, um, the Sears Tower. And it's just a really cool sight. In the mist, in the far. Playing camouflage, huh? He's playing hide and go seek with me. Tiger it. <laughs> okay. So, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I might start my own Minecraft series just for the fun of it, despite whether the fact it gets popular or not. Um, not. I don't really expect to be all like, I hope I get noticed and get to play with people and all that fun stuff. Yeah. But just for fun. Um, yeah, I like my village. It's pretty cool. Um, pretty kind of, not really proud, because being proud of Minecraft's not something you really should be, as in, like, when I, when I was 14 years old, I just, I built a city of Minecraft, and that's my life achievement award. No. Just for the fun of it. Um, I don't know, I like what I build, and it's just a fun game to occupy your time, that you, free time that you have, or if you don't, then make time to play it, I guess. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please, please like it and leave a comment. That'd be so much so much more appreciated than not liking or leaving a comment. And I, yep, that's pretty much it. So, bye.